Hello everybody, this is No BS Nutrition back with another video. Today we're going to talk about the 80-20 rule. Uh, the 80-20 rule is a really good idea for mental clarity, mental set, and dieting. I recommend the 80-20 rule for a lot of people, especially on a diet or just on their maintenance calories, which is your baseline calories to maintain your weight. Um, 80-20 rule is really just 80% mostly clean food. So your chicken, your lean meats, blah blah blah. You hear it from, you probably heard this a bunch of times. Your vegetables, your fruits, and that twenty percent can be anything that you like. So anything that's not clean. I don't like using that word because people have this white and black spectrum. But your dirty foods. So like your cupcakes, your donuts, and etc. Um, this 80 20 rule can be implied as well, not just with nutrition, but business life aspects. So you focus on that 20%, then that 80%. But that's for another topic. Um, the 80 20 rule can be very simple. So if you know your calorie intake, so let's say 3,000 calories. For me, my calorie intake is um, 4,000. That's my name, tenants, because I have 30,000 steps a day. I'm active, I'm strength training, okay? So don't eat 4,000, but you have to find your own. And the way you find your own maintenance is pretty simple. Eat normally. You have to track the calories. So write on a notepad, but I suggested it on an app because it's 2023, but it'd be 2024. So use the app, but if you like pencil and paper, trying to, trying to write some things down, know the calories, etc., and track your weekly average. And then after that, take the medium weight, so it should track three three and find that medium weight and by then your calorie intake could be 3,000 2,500 2,000 calories or even less so you have to find your maintenance to actually do this um, or just eat clean so maybe a little bit junk here and there but eat mostly clean that's what I suggest so I got a little piece of paper right here so I did all the math so let's say, let me put this right here, a little upside down, okay. So let's say you have 3,000 calories, right? You would multiply that by 2% or 20%, that will make the most sense, 20%. Then you will have 600 calories subtracted by 3,000 will be 20, um, 20... 2200 20 no 2400 calories 2400 calories you can eat so that's the 80 percent and 600 calories of 20 percent of junk so that could be a two cookies that could be four cookies that could be a piece of cake that could be anything that you want on your diet that you can cram so if this is actually your deficit you do this math, you can have 20% and still cramming in that deficit and still be in that caloric deficit, but you have that mental clarity and that cravings to go away. That's why I used to lose 250 pounds. So, right here is 600 calories of dirty foods. What you want to be at, if you, over time, you don't want, you want to eat less dirty foods, so like your cupcakes and stuff, you really want to be to a position that I used to be in. Um, you don't eat, you don't have to eat 80-20 every time, but you definitely don't want to be eating 60 to 40. So 6% clean and 40% junk or 50-50. That's not really beneficial for your health. That's not gonna make you lean. That's just not gonna be beneficial. Um, you want to be at this level to a point that you lean into 90-10. So 300 calories worth of dirty foods here and there, okay. And to a point that later on in your life you don't crave those foods and you b just jump really, maybe you go out with the family, you get, you go out the, with the family, you mostly clean, but it's a piece of cake, you, you only eat 300 calories worth of cake instead of the 600. So you eat more clean than dirty. You want to be in that position for long-term success. That's really straightforward in how it goes. Um, it's not terrible to sometimes eat 75 and 25. It's not going to kill you. 
But you want to be in the position that reality is you eat mostly clean, you're eating more vegetables. And I'm not talking about just like another nutrition and eat vegetables. No, I'm talking about season your effing vegetables, please. Season your vegetables, make it taste good, season your meat. You don't have to, you don't have to get organic. It, just, it doesn't benefit you to spend more money because you're still eating McDonald's. So fix on the, the problem of eating more fast food and actually eat more... Um, Less processed food, so anything in the package or anything that's in a bag or candies, etc. If you had to cook it, if you had to, if it's raw or if it's anything like that source of food from like animals and plants, eat more of that than actually eat more of the junk. Okay. Junk ain't bad for you, but if you know that if you have that piece of pop tart and then you want more of it and you're still trying to lose weight, that's not gonna good. That's not gonna help you. So my suggestion is um, really follow this 80/20 rule. You can apply it with business as well, which I also suggest. That's why I did with my under business, but um, that's why I suggest focus on that 20%. Try not go over it. If you can, 20% is pretty, it's, it's a lot. 20, you don't really need more. But if sometimes you feel inclined to to it or you don't think you accidentally went over 20%, don't stress over it, about it. And also, you could do this on a maintenance phase. You can do this on a diet phase. Really, I suggest more of a diet so you can have clarity. And try to be in that calorie deficit when you're doing this 80-20 rule if you have enough calories. So if you have 2,500 or 3,000 calories as your diet, do 80-20, you're still losing weight. You're still getting the benefits. Blood pressure is low, everything. And having a piece of candy or something is not going to kill you. But I will advise that of course, if you have that 20% while you're on the diet, your weight might fluctuate. So just, it's okay. It's not going to kill you. If you're doing that every time and you're still in that deficit, but you're doing the 80-20 rule and your weight's going um, up, down, up, down, you're still losing weight because you're in that deficit. You know you're in that deficit. It's just sodium intake and all that. So don't don't worry about that. And carbs. You store three grams of water of one carb. So... You have to keep in mind of that if you're on a diet. If you're on maintenance, you don't have to worry about it too much. If you know you maintenance the calories, you can fit it in there. Um, if you're on a surplus, I still suggest this 80-20 rule. Maybe a little bit more junk. Um, if your surplus is high, like 5,000 for me, my surplus, I had to eat 5,000 plus to just gain weight. Um, to gain a little bit of weight. So I suggest just follow the 80/20 rule. It's gonna help you in the long term. And if you don't, if you want to car, carb less of junk, then do 90/10, um, 85/15, and just do the math on your calculator. Really, it's really simple. I suggest following it for nutrition and for long-term success. Make sure you hit your protein goals before you eat the the so-called junk foods, just because you're still being fit and healthy and you still build muscle during this time um, i'm gonna show a picture on the end of this video of when i was eight i don't have a picture when i was 250 like a full body picture but this one i was around eight nine and i was very chubby and very obese at this time and i wasn't 250 but i was more like 200 and i want people to know that this is possible to lose weight you just need to know Honestly, it comes down to foods you eat. Really, it's just tips and tricks. Make it taste good. Um, every nutrition advisor or doctor is gonna say eat fruits and vegetables. That's not enough. You have to make it taste good. You actually have to make it work. So, have your junk foods. Actually, I'm gonna suggest this: have your junk foods. Please have your junk foods, but minimize it to your best ability or fit it in. You want to fit it in, because if you don't, then you might crave. Then after that, you might binge. And then you have a little bit of work to do, but that's okay because I've been there too. But try to stay on track, guys. Um, if you're dieting or maintenance or surplus, still try and eat clean. I don't care if you're in a high surplus, still try and eat clean, but have fun on dieting. Fit those foods in your diet if you can. Um, if you can't, then on those 
on free days, not cheat days, I don't like to call them, then um, do the 80-20 rule and have that piece of pizza you've been craving for that six days. So I'm going to end off the video now, and this is the picture. Okay. Thank you, guys. Um, yeah, this is No BS Nutrition. Signing off.